everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin. I'm a pet blogger from Central Florida. And something I love to share a lot about is product reviews, specifically like dog, cat, horse, you know, all of that. And today I'm back with a really cool dog product review um, that was based on a need that I had for Diesel, who is sitting next to me. So depending on when you see this video, um, earlier in March of this year, which is 2023, Diesel had to go through TPLO surgery, which if you've never heard of that before, um, it's basically ACL or knee surgery in dogs. And it's a very kind of strenuous surgery and there's a lot of recovery time that comes with that. And the first two weeks are usually some of the hardest, you know, they're on a lot of medicines and stuff like that to make sure that they can get around, make sure nothing becomes infected or anything like that. But those first couple days of those first two weeks we found, you know, are, in my opinion, the hardest because just like us, if you have like a major surgery, like you break your arm or your leg or something like you can't just immediately put pressure on that part of your body because it hurts. And so having some type of support, you know, like we usually do like a sling or maybe we'll do crutches or something like that, you know, it's helpful for us. Dogs kind of need the same thing. And so I was trying to find something that would help us support him. Um, we needed to help him maybe lift him up or get him into the car for like a follow-up appointment um, Or even just we have stairs in our apartment making sure he can get up and down the stairs easily and originally The main product that I kept seeing out there was this this is the it's like a, a mobility sling you put this under their belly and you have your handles and That's kind of how you lift them up. Well, we absolutely hated this. This is terrible. And I'll tell you why. Because this product, even though it's like the, the whole concept is good, but the problem is when you go to lift up your dog, this slides everywhere and it doesn't ever slide in the right spot. Like it doesn't stay in their in the middle of them in their chest and it's not put in equal weight. So like the problem we had with Diesel is we would put this around him and it would always slide back and just pull up on his meter. I don't have one, but I don't want it, mine being pulled up on. That sounds extremely uncomfortable. And he would always kind of, not like growl, but he'd just be like, ugh, that hurts. And I was like, sorry, buddy. So I was trying to find, you know, yeah, <laughs> buddy, trying to find something that would work better. And I did. This is so freaking cool. So we found the Help Em Up Harness. And I know it looks a little big right now. It's just because I have it undone because we're going to put it on him in a second. But we found the Help Em Up Harness. And essentially, this is kind of the front and the back and those two go together, um, which I'll show you in a second. But this is so cool. This was like the most game changing thing because this is great for, you know, if you do have a dog that is recovering from surgery and, you know, they need some additional support. This is great if you have a senior dog, which are my parents' dog, Aiden, I'm at their house right now shooting this. Um, he's going to make a guest appearance. He's, he's laying down on the ground out of the frame. I don't, maybe you can see his foot or his tail. But he's going to make a guest appearance so I can show you another size because he has a smaller size than Diesel because he's not as big as Diesel um, and showing how it can be used for senior dogs too um, and then just kind of overall a general mobility aid for your dog. So this was game changing and this is honestly the only thing I I really kind of want to advertise for recovery just because it works so well and it has so many different uses. So today I'm going to be going over kind of how it fits the size chart, because the size range is phenomenal. I've never seen a harness that really fits this, like the biggest span of dogs. Um, I'm gonna go into kind of, like I said, how the fit works. I'm gonna share how it actually works, like how you can lift, how you can use it, um, and more info on sizing in general, because this actually can be really extremely customizable, which is awesome and so much more. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with my full review of the Help Em Up Dog Mobility Harness. Okay, so first up, we're gonna talk about the sizing. So this to me is the most versatile and most wide range of sizing harness that I've ever found. So this goes from sizes extra small to extra large, and it starts as small as 10 pounds all the way to 225 pounds. So when you have those really big breeds like a Mastiff or a Great Dane or something like that, or you know, I have a Weasel <laughs> who's 106 pounds, you know, you really need something that's actually giving them support because not, there's just not, in my opinion, I haven't found a lot of things out there that really do that like this. So they comes in, like I said, the different sizes and there's different prices for each one. And I have the pricing linked on this or like shared on this video here if you can see it. But the actual like sizing, it goes by weight and it goes by actual like size chart dimensions. So your neck, your waist, 
and your um, or your neck, chest, and your waist. Sorry. And so I have all of those exact dimensions linked in the blog post, which is linked in my description, you know, of this video if you want to check it out. Um, it's just a lot to have it It'd just be too bulky on the screen, so I didn't want to do that. Um, keep it clean. But Diesel has the size large for reference. He's 106 pounds, and it fits him perfectly. We originally went by weight to see how the sizing would fit. Um, I looked at the other dimensions that they gave too for like the large size specifically. But to me, if you if you are just going off of the weight range that they give you, I personally think it'll fit perfectly. Plus, when you actually put it on, it has, and we'll go into fit in a second, but it has so many different adjustment sections to really give it that perfect tailored fit. So now I wanna go ahead and put it on Diesel and show you guys how it fits on him. And then we're gonna bring out Aiden and show the size he has. He has a medium and go into many other like fit options, how you can make it extremely customizable and more. Okay, so I had Diesel in his harness. He's wearing the size large. And as you can see, it fits him really well. We've adjusted it so it fits him perfect. Um, but it has, like I said, the two handles here for equal support. You can lift him up, which, oh, he's a lot. <laughs> but you can do it if I really put some effort into it. Um, but it's got multiple spots that it hooks into place. So you have it connecting here, and then you have it connecting here, and then here as well. So I'm going to turn him to the front. And DJ, can you walk right here? Go boy. So as you can see right here, it's got kind of the T-strap harness. All of this can be adjusted so it fits and it's not dangling or hanging loose. Here come here, Diesel. He's like, okay, good boy. And then you can adjust right here around the waist as well to make sure this fits and it's not too small or not too big. You have the sides here so it fits directly under his um, hip as well. And then on the back, I'm going to turn him around again. Sorry, Diesel. <laughs> it's just the easiest way to do it. Sorry, guys. This is my favorite part. He looks like he's going ziplining. You know when you wear, you go ziplining and they like strap you in like you're going like climbing a mountain? <laughs> this part on his butt makes it look like it. But these again can also be adjusted. And this, when you unhook it, I honestly just slip this over the tail just because it fits the easiest. Um, but in terms of fit too, they have a few different ways that you can make this really customizable for your dog. So for instance, this size or the type that Diesel has fits all or 95% of males and all females. But for boy dogs specifically, they have two different kinds of back end pieces here that you can get to make sure that it fits your dog kind of in their groin area perfectly because boy dogs can actually have two different places that, you know, their wiener can, can lie. So I'm gonna actually pull this camera down, give you, <laughs> give you a better view, as weird as that sounds. But I want to actually show you the different ways that this can actually fit because you need a little bit of a better view. Okay, so this is the best way that I can show how this part works like from this angle. So this part here, wait Diesel, this is called the pelvic pad. And this type of style that Diesel has is called the conventional hip lift. There's two different kinds that you can get. This conventional hip lift that fits 95% of males is designed to fit if your dog's wiener is forward in front of the hind legs. So the pelvic pad right here would sit behind like it does, as you can see. Now there's also an option called the U-band lift. And this is if your, you know, this would be located directly under the pelvis, or this is if your, your dog's wiener, I'm sorry, is located directly under the pelvis between the rear legs. So a little bit further back. And it has a completely different shape. Now you don't always have to get that, but, and again, in Diesel's case, we have the conventional, but you have two options and they have a great helpful thing on their website, a helpful guide. So you can actually see if that's the kind that you need. Okay, so now I've got my parents' dog. Hey, Dan, are you in the video? He's in the video. And I wanted to show you the size difference between the harness. So Aiden has the neck size down, which is the medium. And as you can see, we have this adjusted to him and it fits him perfect too. And again, you can just lift him right up. <laughs> it's a little bit easier to lift. He weighs like 30 pounds less than his brother. <laughs> um, but we really like this for Aiden because again, you know, he is a senior dog and you know, he's super active, but you know, getting into the car and doing things, you know, at a certain point, you know, he is really going to need more of this. Um, and we're happy to already have it. Now, one thing I wanted to share about the sizing with Aiden specifically, you can sit buddy, if you would like, you can sit. Okay. Or don't, <laughs> I thought you wanted to, um, Aiden is half boxer. As you can see, he's really shaped like a boxer. Um, we think he's a boxer shepherd mix when we got him as a puppy. And a common thing with boxers actually is that many times they need a more custom fit, meaning, the top part of them, since boxers have such deep chests, as you can see with Aiden, and such tiny little booties, 
sometimes these two pieces don't make up the standard medium sized harness or standard large or small or you know what have you and so help them up harness actually has an option to create a mix and match so you can get like a medium piece here a small piece here you know whatever you need and you can actually have it so it really fits your dogs which when i first saw this i learned that the most common breed that they do that with is boxers and so originally we thought we needed that with aiden but he ended up fitting in the medium perfectly which is great he sees he sees treats <laughs> sorry guys um but i i really wanted to show you guys so you could see the difference and now i'm going to grab diesel put them side by side so you can really see a full comparison between the medium and the large okay so as you can see Diesel is clearly bigger than his brother. <laughs> and he's wearing the size large, he's wearing the medium, and they fit them both perfectly. And I just thought this would be helpful so you could actually see kind of the breed differences and kind of the size and how it fits. Um, when you get a Help Em Up harness too, they have it on their website as well, but you get a little booklet and it also has like instructions on how to tighten it and secure it. It has, you know, breed examples. Like you'll see like, this dog is this breed wearing size X. And it's actually extremely helpful. Like they have pictures of like Labradors. They have, I think they have like a Basset Hound. They have all these different things, hi Eden. Um, so you can really see how it would fit your dog, especially if you have that breed. So now I'm actually going to take it off really quick and show you some of the fit and fabric and then we're gonna show its many uses. So one thing I really love about this harness is actually the fabric and the material because it has a few different kinds that aid in a lot of different things, especially if you are getting it for a recovery or rehab purpose. So one thing I really like about it is that it has neoprene fabric on multiple sections and then the bottom half is mesh in a lot of areas too. The pelvic pad is a really nice, you know, soft fleece. And overall, it's just very breathable. It's very lightweight. And especially if you are living in a hot state like I do in Florida, you know, you don't want to put something on them that's like super heavy and have to worry about them like just sweating while they're wearing it, you know? But also, if your dog has swimming as part of the rehab, which was something, you know, it was an option for Diesel, but um, he thinks water is death. So he was not having swimming as part of his rehab. We stuck to the walk option. Um, if you have swimming as part of your rehab, because it has the neoprene and the mesh, you know, it's quick drying. And if they're in the pool and you're, you know, you need to give them a little bit of support or lift them, you have this and you don't have to worry about anything happening to the material, which I thought was awesome. So I really was impressed by the actual material itself, just because again, I haven't found anything like that with this many options that actually gives dogs, whether you are using it as a recovery aid or for senior dog mobility or any type of mobility support, the fabric is just so multi-purpose. So now I wanna show you guys the different ways that I use it for diesel, like using the stairs, the car, and stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to get your dog in and out of the car using the Help Em Up harness. Now, again, if you have a dog that's like the size of my parents' dog, Aiden, you can literally lift them into the car. But if you have a dog that's as big as my Diesel Weasel, I'm gonna show you what I do. I grab both handles and I help guide him and lift him into the car. And he's a pro at this, so he might do it a little fast and a little excited, just so you know. But I'm gonna go and show you. Ready, Diesel? We're gonna load up. Ready, Diesel, you wanna go in the car? You wanna go car ride? Ready? And up, up. And up, up. Woo, there we go. Good job, Diesel. Come here, bud. You wanna show how you get out of the car? Hey, Diesel. We're gonna show. Ready? And let's go. Good boy. Good job. <laughs> now, I am using my parents' car, so I wasn't, I was kind of in the way, but I wanted you guys to see because if I, you know, stood this way, I feel like you would have just saw my backside. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. So that wraps up our review of the Help Em Up Harness. I seriously love this product. It was a game changer for Diesel's TPLO surgery recovery, which, you know, when you go through something like that, it's already stressful enough and there's so many unknowns and I was already so worried about like just making sure that I was doing the best that I could for Diesel. Um, and just having this and knowing that I could take care of him just gave me such a good peace of mind and kept me in a positive headspace during his recovery. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you love this product review, please subscribe to my channel. I do so many awesome other dog product reviews. I do canine enrichment ideas, dog tree recipes, and so much more. Um, and again, I have the like blog post that I did linked in the description and I've got the website to help them apart is linked as well if you want to check them out and learn more about them too. So hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I hope your dog's having a great recovery if they're going through something like this too and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!